Here we go. Three, two, one, action. We are halfway through, and uh, in fact, we're here today shooting one of the scenes of the climactic battle. And Rob had this idea for the cog room, and it is really wild. I wanted this set to be a character so that this wasn't just a slam fest. There were those who tried to cut this set, and I insisted because you're in the climax. So you need this environment, you need this character. This is the cog room set where the uh, finale of the movie takes place, the big fight. It's a fun set. All these things will all be moving and turning. Hopefully we'll have it done by tomorrow. Let's be shoot tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we're just working on uh, some of the choreography for the uh, end fight scene, which is in the, the cog room, um, which is a pretty amazing set. There's a lot of elements of danger in there, and it's pretty nice for the guys to fight around them and um, obviously show that dangerous element that they're working in, which is, you know, it could be pretty cool. This is the most dangerous part of the set, and it's all, it's truly dangerous. I mean, it's got a lot of mass, it's going as fast. If you get hit with it, it can give you a concussion, if not worse. Some things are dangerous but don't look so dangerous. This looks dangerous and it is dangerous. We've been shooting with the stunt doubles because we've got quite uh, serious time constraints on this set. So we've already had the stunt double go up on the wheels and, and then we've done a, a, a section where she comes sliding down on two ropes and, and kicks, uh, kicks Choi. So we're now going to pick up Maria, take her up on the ropes and get one shot of her coming sliding down. But I shouldn't just be no, no. like Wonder Woman. <laughs> Yeah. Because you put me up on the thing, I'm like sort of in pain still. Yeah. I worked for a couple of weeks on wires, which was a real hoot. Okay. Oh! Ooh, cool. Cut. I was like a little kid. I was like, oh my god, that was so much fun. You know, you're you're literally flying in the air. <laughs> What I really wanted was the choreography to be fun, that you would really enjoy watching it because there's so many coordinating elements. He's gonna get hit so hard in the chest, clipped in the legs, and he's just gonna go pass over tea kettle. We just had um, uh, directors change his mind, which is his prerogative. So uh, we're gonna change the Don death now. They'll flip him straight over and onto one of the cogs, which sucks him into, in between two cogs to his death. If you grab him a little under, one hand over and one hand under, then we'll have these close-ups. We'll have these overs that'll look really cool. We are trying to make this fight sequence in the cog room work because we're moving on to different things on Monday. People are a little bit rummy, including me. We're going to kill Yang tonight, and we're going to go home, get a good night's sleep, and kill him again in the morning. There's never enough time. There's more things I'd like to do, but if I get the majority of it, I'm doing well. But I never get it all. Three, two, one, action! No! Stop, stop, stop! They just obviously preparing things on the set at the moment, so we're just um, putting some last minute touches to some of the fights and choreography. And sometimes, obviously, doing movie fights, they um, go change on the fly, so we're just uh, refining things. And then, um, oh, and we're, we're back in now, so um, I'll see you on set. Action! Cut! Okay, go. Very good. Yeah, honestly, man, that went that went really well. I mean, all three things seemed to work. So hopefully, that was a good good take. It looked good for me anyway. It was a major major achievement to get this at 11 o'clock at night. But we got it and everybody's safe. 
maybe a little sore, but safe. And uh, it's just very fulfilling to see it all come together. And cut!